All right. In this video, we are going to solve quadratic equations by completing the square. All right, but we are going to start with number 37. So um, here we go. Completing the square involves putting a very special number right here. You're going to hear me say half the middle squared. Half of 4 is 2. 2 squared is 4. This is not a 4, so this is not the number we need. These are not the droids you're looking for. So we're going to have to subtract 6 from both sides just to move it out of the way. All right, that is going to give us <clears throat> x squared minus 4x. Leave a space here for the number that we're going to put in later. But that's going to equal negative 6. Now, like I said, we're going to do half the middle squared. Half of 4 is 2. 2 squared is 4. So I'm going to put a 4 here to complete the square. But I have to put it on both sides. If you add something, you have to add it to both sides to, to make sure that the equation is still balanced. Um, that's the big thing, remembering to not just add 4 on the left, but also on the right. Common mistake. Anyways... The point of putting this number here is that if you factor this, it's now going to factor as the same thing twice. So x squared is clearly x times x. 4 is going to be 2 times 2. But to get a negative 4 middle, we need a negative 2 and a negative 2. All right, notice it's the same thing twice. So um, meanwhile, over here, I've got negative 2, because negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. So I've got this. Um, now, because these are the same, I can write this as x minus 2 squared is equal to negative 2. Um, now, I can unsquare this by taking the square root of both sides. Don't forget, whenever you take the square root of bo both sides, the solution is positive or negative. So that is going to give me just x minus 2. Now, see I have a negative under a radical. That means it is going to be imaginary. So um, do not leave the negative under the radical. Take it out and make it an i. So plus or minus i radical 2. Notice the i does not go all the way in front of the plus or minus. It just comes right out next to the radical. Um, now, we will now add 2 to both sides to get x by itself. So I'm doing plus 2, plus 2. All right, and this plus 2 is going to go right here in the very front. So I'm going to end up with x is equal to 2 plus or minus i radical 2. And um, I can't add this or subtract this, so this is as far as we go. So that's how you solve by completing the square. All right, let's practice that again. Um, this is not the number we want, so I will start by subtracting 4 from both sides. So that's going to leave me with x squared plus 2x, leave a space, is equal to negative 4. All right, so now it's time to complete the square. Um, it's all about half the middle squared. Half of 2 is 1. 1 squared is 1. So I need to put a 1 here. Of course, don't forget, you have to put it on both sides like that. Now, again, the point of doing that is that this will now factor as the same thing twice. So this will be x plus 1 times x plus 1. Over here, this makes negative 3. So I'm going to have x plus 1 squared, because it's the same thing twice, is equal to negative 3. Okay, now because it's squared, I can unsquare it by doing the square root of both sides. Don't forget your plus or minus. So that's going to give me x plus 1 is equal to plus or minus i root 3. All right, the negative under the radical is imaginary. 
So to get x by itself, I just need to subtract 1 from both sides, and you put that in the very front. So this is going to be the final answer. x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus i root 3. Now, number 39. This problem will be a lot easier if you recognize that there's a common factor here. And uh, when you're solving an equation, there's nothing to stop us from dividing everything in the equation by the common factor. So if I divide everything by 2, that's going to simplify this problem down to x squared minus 2x is equal to 4. I might as well leave a space right now like I like to do. So that's equals 4. All right, so that's easier to work with. Um, now let's do what we did before and do half the middle squared. Half of 2 is 1. 1 squared is still 1. So I'm going to add 1 to both sides. Um, this should factor as the same thing twice. All right, um, x times x makes x squared. 1 times 1 makes 1. To get a negative 2 middle, I need negative 1 and negative 1. Uh, meanwhile, this equals 5. Now, because these are the same, I'm going to have x minus 1 squared is equal to 5. To unsquare this, I can take the square root of both sides. Don't forget your plus or minus. So that's going to give me x minus 1 um, is equal to plus or minus radical 5. To get x by itself, I will now add 1 to both sides. I'll put it right in the front. So that's going to give me x equals 1 plus or minus radical 5. And that's as far as I can go with this problem. 